proposal to organize a blood donation camp at school again underline it use capital letters leave one line start your introduction one introduction one point to educate the students about donating blood to those who need it its benefits precautions side effects and give them first hand knowledge of the process we propose to organize a blood donation camp at school now there is a uh, there is an age limit as to who will be able to donate blood so all the students cannot participate in it so i have written to educate the students to give them first hand knowledge a blood donation camp must be organized at school a kind of project school project holiday homework holiday projects so in order to do this we propose to organize a blood donation camp at school objectives a blood donation camp will foster in the students a sense of social responsibilities teamwork and holistic development they will grow into a better they will grow into better responsible citizens if they learn the importance of blood donation and if such blood donation camps are organized at school this will benefit the students although they will not be able to donate blood themselves because of the age limit it will be helpful for the recipients as well and the donors as well those who will donate blood or receive the blood by providing a sense of belonging we are all one so there is a sense of belonging a social oneness will develop a blood donation camp therefore is very significant and it must be introduced this subject must be introduced at the school level itself so after the objectives two objectives here i have not change the paragraph you may change the paragraph number 1 and this is objective number 2 list of measures leave one line use bullets while writing the list of measures four list of measures the camp will invite donors from the neighborhoods in the vicinity of the school the neighborhoods that are close to the school parents and guardians council school academic council and students of class 12 preferably 18 years of age the camp will have parents guardians neighbors and students who have attained the age of 18 18 years and above trained medical staff you cannot do you cannot organize a blood donation camp all by yourself you need a trained medical team who will perform the checkup and screening of donors The camp will be organized on a Sunday, a holiday, definitely. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., a snack and a drink will be provided. Refreshments. So, arrangements will be made for use of sterile collection systems, sterile syringes, long-term blood product storage under the supervision of the medical staff and the principal of the school. So, this is a very complex process. you must store preserve the blood properly you must use sterile syringes you cannot uh, do anything that is detrimental harmful to the uh, health of the donors so these are the four just go through the four list of measures after this ending leave one line we hope our proposal will be given utmost priority name designation and this is optional if your teacher has told you to write your name and designation go and follow her write the name and designation and if your teacher has not mentioned it no worries at all go through the format properly no spelling mistakes and linguistic ability is crucial again one single page and do not scribble do not write your proposal in untidy way 